Oh God, we bless you and we lift you up. Higher, Lord. We lift you up higher. Higher in you, oh God. These are the blessings we ask in Jesus' name. And God's people say, Amen.
this morning? Everybody that woke up this morning, he woke us up. All over this world, oh, he's able. He's a good God all the time. All the time. In the midst of every situation, I can testify he's a good God. Hallelujah. He knows how to bless us all at the same time. Amen. Amen. Why? Because he's omnipotent. He's all power. Glory to God. I'm excited about what the Lord is doing in the midst of his people. He is doing great things. He keeps on doing great things. He keeps on doing great, great, great things. We give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are grateful for how the Lord is moving by His Spirit. We honor all uh, of our in-house saints on today and certainly to our Facebook audience on today. Thank you again for all of the beautiful support that you have given us by the way of Facebook. Thank you so much. We uh, say again on today continue to correspond with us here at the Miracle House of Prayer. Uh, you can write us at P.O. Box 681973, Houston, Texas 77268, or you can call our prayer line at 800-870-3414, or you can write us here right on property at the Miracle House of Prayer, 604 East 38th Street, Houston, Texas, 77022. We are willing and ready to correspond with you, whatever your need may be. You might need a healing in your body. You might need a healing in your mind. You might need a healing in your family where there is such a, 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 a bad a, a need. It's uh, in the families, amen. The enemy is raging in the families today. Oh, but I tell you, God is a deliverer, amen. He will deliver you in the midst of turmoil, amen. So uh, depend on Jesus, amen, as we uh, look to him today for our help. Praise God, amen. We are so uh, grateful how the Lord has blessed us with such a beautiful day. Yeah. Uh, amen. And today we are looking to go higher. Amen. And we're just uh, looking forward today because we will be uh, teaching our 15th lesson yeah. in yeah. our Think Big series. Yeah. 15 weeks, 15 lessons yeah. today. Amen. We yeah. pray that you will. Uh, enjoy and uh, get something out of what the Lord will say in this message on today. And our message today, the topic being, who are you looking to? Yeah. My Lord, somebody's already answered it. Somebody's already got the vision. Amen. Yeah. Jesus, who are we looking to today? The bread of life. Yes. Jesus. That's who we are looking to. Now, we are talking about those that are saved and sanctified. We know to look to Jesus. Yes. But I want to invite those that don't know Jesus as your Savior to look to him today. Glory to God. Look to the hills from which cometh your help. Jesus is waiting. As the song say, he's standing there with his arms wide open. Yes. Hallelujah. With his arms wide open, saying, Come to me. Yes. Come to me. Come, Come to me. Yes. Hallelujah. And you know the thing about it is that whosoever shall come there is never too many because his grace and his mercy extend towards all mankind. Hallelujah. Oh, we are excited today. 
of what the Lord is already doing. Uh, we thank God, amen, uh, uh, how the Lord blessed us uh, in the home going of my sister, my biological sister on yesterday here at the Miracle House of Prayer. I want to thank all of our Facebook uh, audience as well as our fellowship churches that uh, supported us so beautifully. We want to thank you publicly for all of that that you did for us on yesterday and the prayers are continuing on today. So we want to thank you so much. Thank you. Who are you looking to? Who are you looking to? And we know that Jesus is the best person yeah. to look to for whatever we need. Yeah. Yeah. If it's healing in our bodies, yeah. if it's healing in our minds, yeah. if it's the healing of the soul, yeah. surely he's the only one we can look to for the All healing of the soul. Now the doctors we know can help uh, the body to a certain extent, but it still takes Jesus to work the miracles in the body. And to give the doctors the knowledge what to do. Amen. Yes. So there's no way we can get around looking to Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So yes. would you just enjoy uh, what the Lord is going to say today. Yes. And those of you that would, if you would uh, just turn to the uh, 121st uh, number of Psalms. and uh, Amen. You can uh, hold that and we're going to be talking today from the books of Psalms, uh, Psalms uh, extensively, amen, on today. But all the time and all the while that we are talking today, keep in mind that we are yet talking about thinking be. Hallelujah. Thinking be. Oh, glory to God. If I may, the 121st number of Psalms, the first verse, and uh, David said, I will lift mine eyes uh, to the hills from which cometh my help. Yeah. And you know, David knew what he was talking about. Because David saw the difference when he came uh, against obstacles and he lifted his eyes to God. And then there were times uh, when David did not lift his eyes to God and he got in trouble. Amen. Now, the Lord is merciful and the, the Lord didn't take uh, his kingship away from him. Glory to God. Amen. Because the Lord knew his heart. And he knew that he failed, but then God knew that he would return. See, because God knows all things. Always have and always will. Hallelujah. So, today we just want to encourage you to look to the Lord. Amen. Now, we ask the question to share your, your mind in that again, who are you looking to? Because, see, I can speak for myself because I know who I'm looking to today. I know, I know who I, but I, I have been looking to for the last 55 uh, years and uh, four months now. I know who I have been looking to. Amen. If it was not for the Lord on my side, yeah. where would I be? So I can testify of an assurance today that when you trust in him, he will bring you out yes. with the victory every time. Yes. Hallelujah. I will lift my eyes unto the hills. In other words, I'm, I'm, I'm looking uh, toward heaven. That's where I'm looking to. I'm looking toward heaven. Why? Because that's where my help comes from. Amen. Amen. That's where my help comes from. Amen. I can't do anything without God. If I try, I'm going to mess up. Hallelujah. So we want to look, amen, to him today for all of our help. In every situation, we want to look 
to God. We want to look to the hills, those uh, holy hills. Glory to God. Now, over in Psalms 123 and 1, now, hold on to Psalms 121 because we're coming back there. Glory to God. We're, we're, we're coming back there. 123 and 1 says, Unto thee lift I up mine eyes, O thou that dwellest in the heavens. You see, 121, amen, showed us, amen, that our help comes from the Lord, comes from the hills, uh, amen. We look at the hills, amen, which is the Lord, and then go over to 123, of Psalms, and that first verse says, the psalmist says, unto thee lift I my eyes, O thou that dwellest in the heaven. Yes. God, amen, now he dwells in the heaven, but we are so glad that now that he dwells in us. Yes. Amen. So when, when we need whatever we need, amen, we'll look to the hills and call on his holy name, and he's always there. Yeah. Oh, that's something about God. Amen. I tell you, you can call him in the midnight hour. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Your husband, your wife might be in a real deep sleep. Glory to God. Uh -huh. Oh, but that's one thing about Jesus. Uh, he never sleeps. He never slumbers. Glory to God. Uh, amen. We can call him early in the morning. Hallelujah. Amen. And see, he's not nervous. Glory to God. Amen. Uh-uh. He's not nervous. Hallelujah. We can call him. Amen. And it doesn't matter how loud we call him. Or we can even call him in a quiet whisper. Hallelujah. Amen. And he's attentive to our call. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. How many times, amen, have I just rolled over, amen, in the, in the early parts of the morning, hallelujah, and just say, Jesus, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Who are you looking to? And we're going to go back to the book of Psalms now, and we're going to go to 121 in the second verse. And here the psalmist said, My help cometh from the Lord. Who are you looking to? My help cometh from the Lord. The Lord can work out situations that nobody else can work out. The Lord can work out things that nobody else can have the answer to. Yeah, yeah. Glory to God. But when we look to the hills yes. from which coming our help, yes. God is there. Yes. He'll yes. work it out every time. He'll figure it out. Yes. Amen. While we are trying to figure it out, uh, He's already worked it out. Yes. Hallelujah. Who yes. are you looking to? Yes. My help coming yes. from the Lord. Yes. And here it is again. Which made heaven and earth. Yes. Oh my God. He made heaven and earth. Yes. What a mighty God. My but my we God. have to trust in him. Yes. We have to think big and realize that there is nothing too hard for God. Yes. Yes. Nothing, nothing. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. That is yes. much. That's going on in our society, yes. people of God. Yes, there is. is much that's going on in our society. Yes. There's a lot of uh, ungodly things that's going on in our yes. society. Yes. Oh, but while those things are going on uh, around us, we don't have to fear. Yes. We don't have to fear, yes. but we can be steadfast. Yes. Stay steadfast. Yes. Unmovable. Yes. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Call on Him. Yes. Early in the morning. Call yes. on Him. Yes. In the midnight hour. Call on Him when you don't feel like it. Yes. Call on Him yes. when you're going through hard trials, yes. tests, and tribulations. Yes. Continue yes. to look to the hills yes. for which coming our help. Yes. Yes, Lord. 
down to amen trusting in God because you see he is our divine helper oh yes he is when we feel low amen and I feel like we pray and then he's not even listening to us oh yes he is too he's always present Yes. He's there all the time. Oh, yes. He's our present help in trouble. Yes. Glory to God. Oh yes. We have saints of God. Sometimes we do. We come against trouble. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh. Trouble in our way. Yes, Lord. Why do we come against trouble? Because there is a devil. Yes. And he, his middle name is trouble. For the saints of God, because he hates us, he don't like us no way. That's all right with me. I don't want the devil to like me. And I know you don't either. I don't want the devil to like me. I left the world to follow Jesus. Now, I cannot follow Jesus and the devil at the same time. Glory to God. So I am looking to the hills. I'm looking to Jesus. Because I know where my help coming from. Right. Glory to God. Right. He has worked out so many situations. Amen. That I could not even see my way out myself. But when you can see your way, trust God anyway. Yes, that's right. Because why? Right. Yes. His word stands as sure. Yes. His word stands as sure. Yes. If God said it, yes. take it to the bank. Yes. Hallelujah. And the bank better cash it for you. Yes. Amen. Why? Because it's in the word of God that yes. I will yes. never leave you or forsake you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I want to encourage the people everywhere today. Yes. Not just at the Miracle House of Prayer. Yes. That's right. Not just the Miracle House of Prayer churches. Yes. Not just the Full Gospel Fellowship churches. Yes. Not just the people in Houston. Yes. People right. everywhere yes. need to know that you can trust God yes. at all times. At all times. Reading Jesus. that third verse, Psalms 121 and 3. Mm -hmm. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. That's right. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Yes. In other words, what David was saying here is that there is safety in the Lord. Yes, there is. There is no other place that we can find safety. But safety is in the Lord. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. You don't have to worry amen about calling on Jesus and he tell you call me back tomorrow. Oh no. Oh no. Uh -uh. That's, that, 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 that's not Jesus. If, if you hear that voice you call on him and, uh, and you hear a voice say come back tomorrow that's the devil. You, you, you need to tell him get up and get out of here. Glory to God. So my God is a present help in the time of trouble. He said, come unto me, all you that labor in heaven laden. I will give you rest. Yes. Glory to God. He won't turn you away. He'll never say no. Yes. Now, I know sometimes you hear the people say that. Uh, sometimes he'll say maybe so. Well, now, I, I, I don't find that in the word of God. Glory to God. I don't call on him and he tell me come back tomorrow. Uh-uh. You don't do that. Hallelujah. Who are you looking to? Just continue, amen, to trust him. Yeah. Now, if you may, go to the 124th division of Psalm now. And we're just going to go down to the fourth verse. Because we are yet talking about who are you looking to? 124 and 4, the psalmist says, Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. There it is again. Yes. 
Yes. It's the same thing, amen, he just said in the 121st number, the third verse. Go over to the 124th number of Psalms and the fourth verse. Amen. That just goes to show you that he means, amen, for his people to know who he is. Amen. Behold, he that keepeth Israel. In other words, uh, Israel is the church. Hallelujah. And he is the one that's keeping the church. So he shall neither slumber nor sleep. Hallelujah. Amen. See, amen, he's not like Buddha. Come on. Amen. You see, he, people be calling on Buddha. Amen. And Buddha, all Buddha do is, is, is sit there and not move. Oh, but when you call on Jesus, that moves Jesus. When his people cry out to him, call on him in the time of trouble. Hallelujah. He never slumbers or sleeps. So what, he, what he's doing, he's moving for his people both day and night. Yes. Ah, oh, hallelujah. It matters not. When we call on him, he will answer. We, amen, go back to, amen, singing our song. When you call Jesus, he will answer prayer. When you call Jesus, he will answer prayer. Hallelujah. He'll be there. Whenever you call upon him. But amen. We have to think big enough to know that he's God. Yes. Hallelujah. He's God. He's the bread of life. Yes. Yes. And when we call him, he has a listening ear. Glory to God. And he'll reach out. He'll reach down. In, in that place, no matter no, no different where you are. Hallelujah. Sometimes, yes. The weights of this world. Amen. We'll let it come in and weigh us down. Yes. Oh, but he's right there to lift us up. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Yes. Who are you looking to? In that same, uh, amen, because I, I love looking to him. Amen. Because listen, he, he's my divine care. Yes. Hallelujah. He'll, he'll be there. He'll answer prayer. And him being divine, but also, amen, you see, he took on a body. So he knows our infirmities. He knows how we feel. Glory to God. But Buddha don't. Buddha don't know how we feel. Come on. Because uh, 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 Buddha is nothing but uh, uh, I'm God. And he don't have no feelings. Hallelujah. And that field verse, the same 124th division of Psalms, the psalmist said, The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The Lord is thy keeper. If we want to be kept, the Lord is our keeper. But guess what? He gives us a choice. If there Anybody that have a warped mind and don't want to live for Jesus, guess what? It's a choice. And I said a warped mind because it'll have to be a warped minded person that don't want to live for Jesus. Glory to God. Oh, but he's our keeper. He's our deliverer. Hallelujah. He's our help in the time of trouble. Glory to God. He that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Yeah. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shame upon thy right hand. Hallelujah. Come on, don't you know, amen, the Lord being our shame, he covers us from a lot of uh, unknown and unexpected things that could come our way. The shade of the Lord overshadows his people. Sometimes hurt, harm, and danger almost come to our door. But because the Lord overshadows us, 
The shame of the Lord overshadows us. The shame of the Lord covers us. His people, glory to God. And then dangers, dangers that would come our way, they turn and go another way. Why? Because the shame of the Lord is covering us. He's hoovering over us everywhere we go. Glory to God. The word of God said that the angels of the Lord encamps round about them that fear him. In other words, each and every one of us, we have angels that are encamped round about us, that covers us, that protects us from dangers, accidents. Glory to God. It was so sad, accidents everywhere. This morning we were, amen, on our way uh, coming down 1960, amen, and we saw where, uh, amen, we, we didn't see the accident, but uh, it was a SUV somehow uh, ran over this motorcycle. And I, you know, all, all we could do was pray, uh, amen, because we didn't see a person, but uh, this uh, motorcycle was under the center, all crushed up of that uh, SUV. And all, we, 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 we prayed and said, Lord, don't uh, let nobody die in that accident. Because it was a terrible accident. Glory to God. Oh, but how many times uh, we as people of God, uh, we have come close to accidents. But the angel of the Lord said, not so. Yeah. Glory to God. The angel of the Lord, amen, he turned that way, turned that accident. Glory right. to God. Amen. Yeah. I know, uh, amen, I had an accident, uh, amen, back a couple of years ago. And yes, it was my fault. Glory to God. But God is merciful. God is good. Amen. And so what happened, uh, amen, and I, uh, amen, uh, misread the sign, turned out the wrong lane. Glory to God, amen, and uh, the, the uh, pickup truck, amen, hit me, glory to God, amen, and, and now when the uh, police came, I had it already figured out. Yeah. I didn't try to lay it on the other man because I saw my mistake. So I just went on and I, 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 I made it easy. I, I, I did what saints supposed to do, I told the truth. Yeah, I was wrong, but I got insurance. So, uh, amen, I'm not going to take no chance of going to hell and I'm paying insurance. Yeah. Amen. But, no, it was his fault. It was his. No, no. Uh-uh. No, I saw it. It was my fault. Glory to God. So, amen, uh, I went on and did what I was supposed to do. Saints, tell the truth. Amen. Saints don't try to lie their way out of, uh, you know, accidents. Amen. Just tell the truth and go ahead on and let the insurance, amen, uh, take care of it. Glory to God. But we uh, amen, that's the question I get today. Who are you looking to? Amen. You see, when we look to the Lord, amen, we, we live the truth. We tell the truth. Glory to God. Amen. Why? Because we are trying to draw saints. We are trying to draw people, amen, from out of the world. Hallelujah. Amen. And who? Are you looking to? Yes. Reading uh, on uh, in that same 124 uh, division of Psalms, amen, and a word said again, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. In other words, uh, we as people of God, we have divine protection both Day and night. Yeah. When the moon is shining and when the, the sun is shining, we have divine protection. We have the protection of God. Amen. Why? Because we're looking to Him. Amen. To protect us, to keep us, yeah. to heal our bodies, heal our mind, yeah. heal our soul, and keep us. Walk in the, in the perfect will of God. 
Hallelujah. Who are you looking to today? Amen. Are you looking to some man that you think can keep you? Well, I'll tell you what, you sure won't fail. Yeah. If, are you looking to some woman that you think can keep you? If so, you're going to show fail. Hallelujah. Amen. Because, amen, uh, we in our, uh, amen, uh, 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 in, in our weaknesses, we might try to help. But all the time, our help is not the answer. Oh, my God. Don't get me wrong. We're supposed to help one another. But if we trust in God, turn it over to Jesus. Amen. amen. Sing it, amen, like we used to sing it back in the day. Amen. Turn it over to Jesus, and he'll work it out. Hallelujah. When you are looking to him, he'll work it out. Psalms 124 and 7 says, The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul when we look to him. He will preserve us from all evil. See, evil is everywhere. Evil is around us. It's around us. But it is not supposed to possess us. Yeah. It's not to take over us. It's not to rule us. Yeah. Glory to God. Why? Because we got to think big. We got to think big. We got to look to the Lord. Amen. In every case, every situation. Amen. And let Him bring us yeah. out. Come on and give the Lord a hand. Give the Lord a hand. Hallelujah. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul, my God. Listen, our soul is all we have. Our soul is all we have. Don't let nobody make you lose your soul. Nobody. Nobody. It's not worth it. When things come, somebody trying to make you lose your soul, throw your hands up and say, not so. Not so. I'm looking to the Lord. I know who I'm looking to. I'm trusting in the Lord. The Lord is going to bring me out of this situation. Who are you looking to? The 124 in the number verse, number 8, says the Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. The Lord will preserve you when you look to him. He will preserve us, our going out, our coming in, everywhere we go. Everything that we do, the Lord will preserve us. Yes. He will keep us. Hallelujah. He's a keeper. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Sometimes, and we will just keep our mouth shut. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, somebody drop a pin right there. And we just Keep our mouth shut. Yeah, yeah. And let the Lord fight our mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He will yeah. preserve us. Yeah. You look at our society we are in now. Yeah. And, and, and I actually, I, most of the time, I hate to turn on the news. But then again, I say, well, now, if I turn on the news, I see some things that I can pray about in our society that's going on with all of this destruction of bodies. People shoot each other. People get mad because uh, somebody's basketball rolling in their front yard and they just start shooting up families. That's a demon that need to be cast out. A basketball, a basketball can't hurt your grass. It can't hurt nothing. And then take a person life over something that simple. But the Lord 
will preserve us. That's why we need to pray, saints of God. Hallelujah. Who are you looking to? Who are you looking to? In Psalms 37 and 23, David said the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And he delights in his way. The steps of a good man. Amen. See, we got what well, yeah, we are some good people. Saints are supposed to be good. Amen. Amen. The Holy Ghost in us makes us good. The Lord in us makes us good. That's what David said. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And he delights in his way. We, we delight in the way of the Lord. And when, when the word of God says a good man, now he's talking about the brethren. In other words, the brethren includes everyone. Everyone. Sisters, children, amen, everyone. Glory to God. Psalms 34 and 20, 37 and 24 says, Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord upholds him with his hand. See, the, the, the hand of the Lord will sustain us. Glory to God. When we, are, when we are looking to him, we look to him. His hand is there to pull us out of that situation. To give us strength to follow on. Glory to God. The Lord's hand. Psalms 18 and 36 says, uh, Thou has enlarged my steps under me, uh -huh, that my feet did not slip. Oh, my God, my God. Look at what the word of God will do. Thou has enlarged my steps under me. And you know that beautiful song that we uh, used to sing back in the day, all of my steps in your word. Hallelujah. Amen. Our Arcola church, when, when they were small children, amen, they, they sang that song on such an anointed, all of my steps in the Lord. All of my steps in the Lord. All of my steps in the word. Yes, all of my steps in your word. Hallelujah. All of my steps in your word. That's, that's a good song. We need to go back to singing that one. Amen. That right, says Tati? Amen. We need to go back to singing that one. Hallelujah. All of my steps in your word. Hallelujah. Said that my feet did not slip. Without the word of God, let me tell you something. We are all asleep. If we didn't have the word in us to keep us, what's going to keep us? We need the word. That word. Deep, deep, deep. Deep down in our heart. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. See, that's, that's one reason we have a different church society today. Is that back in the day, every song that we sing from the time we got to church until the time we left. There was messages on top of messages, not only from the messenger, but every song was a message. Right. Every song. Sometimes I go back so far to those old songs that I have people laugh and say, where are you getting that one from? We used to sing this one. Deep, 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 deep down in my heart. Jesus deep down in your heart. 
See, it's one thing about talking about it and having it on the tip of your tongue. But if it's deep down in your heart, it's something resonating in you uh, who are you looking to. Reading in Psalms 18 and 1. And David said, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. See, there are uh, uh, these in the word. We find strength in the word. I will love thee. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. Glory to God. See, we, we need to practice in the word. Come on. We need to get up in the morning. Where's my Bible? I need to read some word. At noonday, I need to read some word. If I'm on my job, I need to quote some word. If I'm on my job, I need to sing some word. Hallelujah. Get the word any way that you can. As long as it is the living word. Who are you looking to? Who are you looking to? Psalms 18 to David said, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. My God, my God, my God. Yes. You could be you could be down in the dumps no. and begin to read that scripture. Yes. And the more you read it, the more you find yourself pulling your way up out of the dumps. Yes. Yes, Lord. Who are you looking to? Who are you looking to? And we just continue to look to the hills from whence coming our help. But we know that our help coming from the Lord. Yes. Oh my God. Psalms 18 and 3 says, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Mm -hmm. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Oh, there's peace in looking to the Lord. There's peace in calling upon the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. And he will answer. He will deliver. And he will keep us. Hallelujah. Psalms 119 and 133. The eighth part of that scripture says. Order my steps. In thy word. Hallelujah. See, that, 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 that wasn't just a song. All of my steps in your word. But it's written in the word of God. Yes, yes. Psalms 119, 133, the A part. That is the word of God. No wonder that song has had so much power over about uh, 40 uh, 45 years. That's, that's just about how old that song is. And right now, they still play it on the uh, radio and uh, amen. They have the tapes and all of that. But they, they are yet playing that song and it's that old. But then again, they found it in the Word of God. That's where they found it. And then they recorded it. All of my steps in thy word. Hallelujah. Who are you looking to today? Who are you looking to? Psalm 119 and 2 says, Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. My God. See, looking to him. He wants us to seek him with all of our heart. Yes. Hallelujah. Don't 
seek him, amen, half-heartedly. But seek him with our whole heart. Yes. Give our all to him. Hallelujah. Who are you looking to? Yes. Hallelujah. Who are you looking to? I'm looking to the Lord. Yes. He's my help. I don't, I, I don't need another help. I don't want another help. I'm not seeking another help. I don't desire another help. My help is in the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, precious Father, in the mighty, matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for our this word that you sent to your people, those even by way of Facebook, many, many, many today needed to be encouraged through the word of God. They've been going through tests and trials, sickness in the body, family matters, not knowing which way to turn. Oh God. But today, you let everyone know that the Lord is their rock. The Lord is our rock and our fortress and our deliverer. That he's our God. That he's our strength in whom we will trust. And that he's our buckler and our horn and our salvation and our high tower. And since he's all of that to us, Lord, we want to share it with somebody else. That he is our keeper. And that we are looking to him. We are thinking big because we know him as our keeper. Now, Lord, those that are listening to us today. Give them a mind to repent. Give them a mind to say to you, Lord, forgive me today for my shortcomings. Lord, forgive me today for my sins of omission. Forgive me today for sins of commission. Save today and keep today in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Who are you looking to? Well, if you say now, after that repentance prayer that I'm looking to Jesus, well, stay there. Continue to look to him. Continue to hold to God's unchanging hand. For he is your bread of life. Love him. Keep his commandments. And watch him take you to another level. Hallelujah. Now, precious Father, there are many that are sick in their body. And Lord, we pray for the sick today everywhere. Touch bodies. That cancer. We curse it from the very root. That diabetes. We curse it from the very root. That dialysis. We pray a created miracle. A new kidney. In the name of Jesus. A transplant. That one that's been waiting on a kidney transplant. Bring it forth in the name of Jesus. That headache, that migraine headache, we curse it from the very root. Trouble, trouble, trouble. That trouble in the home, we curse it from the very root. In the mighty 
mighty name of Jesus. Praise the mighty deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. Even in the church house. Oh, there are many deliverances that your people are waiting on. Lord, get your church in order. Call your church to be delivered. Cause all of the people of God to know that you are God. And above you, there is none other. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and give you the glory. And give you the praise. Because we are looking to you. Come on, saints of God, and give God a hand. Give him a hand. Give him a hand clap. Give him a praise. We thank the Lord. Amen. For today. Amen. And we are thanking the Lord that you were able to join us today. We give God the glory. We give him the praise. We are looking, amen, to be back on next week at the same time. 9.30 for Sunday School right here at the Miracle House of Prayer, 604 East 38th Street. And of course, our 11 a.m. service. So until next week, this is Bishop and Pastor Coleman saying to you that we are marching to radar.